Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike from Digital Offensive, and you're watching my Path to OSCE. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Pentester Academy. I know it's not directly OSCE related, however, they have some great courses within their um, course catalog that can help you uh, prepare for the OSCE. <music> I originally found Pentester Academy uh, through a link over here um, through the Tulpa Security um, OSC Prep Guide. Uh, they have a pretty decent laid out prep guide here of where you're at, what you're going to learn, what you should look at outside of the official material. So many of you guys know uh, my last video I released the fact I'm going for my OCE. I was able to crack the CTF uh, and get registered for it. Uh, at the current time, I have not paid the course material. I was supposed to start next week, but because of the holidays and everything like that, I think I'm going to postpone my start date until after the holidays to start work on the certification. Uh, the certification is only 30 days long in the lab, 30 or 60 days, depending on which one you buy. Um, I'm kind of going with the idea of maybe 30 days and doing a lot of this prep work beforehand. Uh, I've gone through this guide quite a bit right now. But however, let's jump back over to Pentester Academy. I'll put a link to uh, tulpasecurity.com here in the link below so you can see their prep guide as well. Uh, originally found it by just doing a quick look for OSCE, OSCE prep guides just to try to start uh, understanding where I need to start focusing some of my attention to in preparation for this class. So jump over to the Pentester Academy site. There is some great pros to this site. Uh, there's also a lot of cons to the site. So pro one, right? Cost wise, uh, right now pricing at $39 a month is awesome. Uh, it sounds a bit high, but let me tell you what you get for $39 a month. Uh, at $69 a month, which is the normal fee, I would be skeptical about keeping them just because I don't find a lot of value add at that price range. Uh, at $39 a month, you get to download slash access 100 uh, videos from their course catalog. Now here's the catch. Every time you click the link to watch a video, it counts as a download. So what you need to do is if you are, uh, if you subscribe to their service and you want to download a course, <clears throat> so let's say we go down to shellcode32, and that's why I originally signed up for this, is to go through their assembly language for shellcoding, uh, to really get more hands-on and learn assembly better. So as I get into the OSCE, it's a little bit easier to prep for this. So if we come into their uh, course here and we go to uh, view videos, you can see all the ones I've already viewed. Now, what you wanna do is, you don't wanna watch it from within their system. If you watch it right here, that's gonna count as a download. What you wanna do is you wanna come in, you wanna right click here and do save link as. And when we do save link as, you can see that it's gonna download as MPEG-4 video. That means I can download all these uh, videos and watch them at a later point in time. This is great because I don't have to stop and start and come back later and each time I click that video it counts as a download. So that is one caveat you gotta be aware of. Now, 100 videos a month, depending on which course you're gonna do, is good or bad. Um, why did I say that? For the assembly language, I was able to download the assembly language, I was able to download the GNU debugger uh, class, as well as the Active Directory class. And the reason I downloaded the Active Directory class is uh, more for some of the red teaming work we're doing, see if there's any value added in there, training for that for uh, testers uh, moving forward. I'm really just going through a lot of the course materials, seeing where there's some value add that we can look at buying some additional seats for this and using it uh, within our organization. So, however, if you wanna download, for example, their web uh, exploit one, you get 100 downloads a month. So there's a good chance you'd be able to access multiple uh, classes each month for that $39 rate, which is awesome. You get multiple um, classwork, multiple uh, labs you can work on, things like that for that price. And that's a really good deal. However, if you want to do something like the web app, if you come in here to the web app and you do view videos, you're going to see there's 82 videos. So basically that whole month, is pretty much blown on the web app only. Now, that's good and bad. Uh, if you're only focused on that one thing a month, that's great. You're gonna be able to do that 82 videos and you're still gonna have about 18 video clicks after that you can use. Now, 
uh, an another great pro for this site is you get to access all these videos, right, for that $39.99 a month. But also on top of that is if you go to the online labs, their online labs are tied into the attack and defense labs. So the cool thing about this is you're getting access to both of these systems for that price of $39.99. Okay, so whenever you're doing videos, you're going to see a link like this. Do this exercise in our online lab. So when you click on the online lab, it automatically logs you into attack and defense. So you actually get access to attack and defense labs as well. Now, what I found out in here as well is you're not only restricted to these missions, th these labs are assigned to the classes you purchase through um, Pentester Academy, you can actually go to any other online uh, lab within attack and defense and do those as well. So for example, if I wanna jump over to, uh, Let's see, I think I jumped over the web app one the other day just to see. Or right, let's just jump over to Metasploit for right now. We can jump over to Interpreter and we can start any of these uh, labs as well. So basically for that $39.99 a month, you're getting access to both the Pentester Academy as well as the Attack and Defense Labs. So you're getting two great services for that price. That is the really great part about using Pentester Academy because of the cost involved. It's only $39.99 a month. It's it's not that expensive when you look at the grand scheme of training and other facilities out there. Now, here's some of the caveats I don't like about Pentester Academy um, and what kind of drives me to the point where sometimes I don't want to renew. So the first thing is, if you look at this page right here, it kind of looks like I'm not logged in. It says member access, uh, ask me about pricing. It doesn't really show me anything that I'm actually logged into the system. When you sign up for their system, it takes them about 24 to 48 hours to get back to you. I think it's a manual process. They're based in India. So if you're here in the U.S., depending on where you are in the U.S., you're looking at about a nine-hour time difference between um, th their shift and our shifts. So you may miss them by a day. So it takes some time to get your account set up. Once your account's set up, they're going to give you a, um, a serial number, a code that you're going to come to a specialized link they give you and enter that serial number. And that's the only place you have a username and password. You don't get a standard username and password. You just have that serial number. So I think it's tied to your IP address. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So basically you come to the page, you click on member access, and you can see I'm logged in automatically, right? At this point, I didn't really look like I was logged in, but I click on member access, I'm logged in. I didn't enter my username and password or anything like that. Um, you can see I have access to attack and defense labs. I have all the, um, these are all the latest videos and lab additions that just recently added. And then you can come over here. Now, if you're already logged in, I don't understand why you still see pricing, why you still see why subscribe, uh, testimonials, things like that. You're already logged into the system. You're already hooked and baited. You, you're already part of the environment. So it kind of was a little misleading at first when I first logged in here. But you do get these three additional uh, options over here. So you get your new additions, you get your logs and cancel account. So if you look at your logs, this is where you can tell how many videos you have played. Total plays till date equals 85. You're allowed to download 100 a month, right? So basically I still have about, uh, what is it, 15 videos I can download uh, for this month uh, before my next month starts. And you can basically see all the ones I downloaded, my browser, my IP address and everything. So those are all the ones I've downloaded for the month. And I still have a few left. So not too much management is really um, here for you to really manage your account, to do different things for your account. Um, as I said, I download all the videos locally. I watch them on my local machine, which is good because if I'm traveling, uh, I don't have the internet or something, I can watch them. I don't have to worry about using any more, any more of my download links. And then you also have cancel account. So uh, those are the options for management. So the other issue I have with them is getting support. Uh, I actually still have a support case open since day one of using their service. Uh, as you go through their labs here, um, there is some material in some of the labs <coughs> that um, you can access while on attack and defense, but uh, several of the videos to tell you how to build your lab, set up your lab in your own environment. And I can't download those lab files. There's no links to download the lab files. And when I asked them for the access to the links to download the lab files, they haven't responded yet. I got one generic response back from one employee. I provided more information. 
and it's gone unanswered now for several weeks. So support wise, I would have to say support sucks. Plain and simple sucks. Uh, I don't know if that's because of the time differences or anything like that, but you figure several weeks later they would actually get back to you and help you out. Uh, I don't expect too much at $39.99 a month. Uh, as I said, if the price was to go up to the full $69.99, I'd probably definitely cancel the account and be done with them. Um, the other thing too to look at is a lot of these videos are still out on YouTube. So for example, uh, Shellcode32, right? Let's jump back over here because it's the one I'm using right now. Course introduction. You can see that I don't have a checkbox here because out on YouTube is that video. So why would I waste a download on that? And the same thing for a few of these videos. If you go out to YouTube first, search security tube, because that's who Pentester Academy used to be, you'll find a lot of the links still out there. So that can save you some downloads to be able to download other course material. Now they don't offer any refunds or anything like that because it's a digital material. Once you download it, it's yours, it's on your machine. They can't get their money back. So uh, once you subscribe, download whatever you want to uh, download, use it as you want to use it. And then once that month's over, you decide if you want to continue on with them or not. Now, as far as the content, the material that goes in these videos, um, it's pretty good. It is by an uh, Indian individual. Um, accent wise, it's pretty easy to understand. Um, I, I'm, I'm in the U.S. and sometimes people say my accent is pretty bad because I got a mixture of like New York, Rhode Island going on and I talk really fast. But um, it's pretty clear for the most part. It's very easy to understand, easy to follow. Um, it's pretty well laid out thought process wise, definitely for the assembly class. I haven't gone into any of the other classes yet, but the assembly one's pretty good so far. Uh, some of the issues I have with some of these videos is depending where he filmed it at the time you'll get a lot of uh background noise like i think there's a couple of videos where it sounds like he has a bunch of parakeets in a cage you start hearing them squawk and chirping and things like that and that does get a little annoying but you're able to get past it and continue on working through the videos um so overall for the pentester academy i would have to say i would give it probably maybe six or seven stars out of ten if i was to give it like a rating uh, quality wise, it's pretty good. Cost wise at the current uh, pricing model is really good for what you get access to both pen tester lab and attack and defense. Um, I don't like the fact that I'm limited to the number of downloads a month. I understand why they do that because if they didn't, you can go in there, download everything and then cancel subscription and they never make that reoccurring money. So that kind of makes sense why they do that. I think they should have something where you may be able to ex access like five classes a month or some limitation how many classes you can access a month because it'd be nice to be able to access the web one as well if I decide to go that route uh, without renewing another month. But I definitely get the point why they do that. Um, quality and content wise, um, pretty decent. As I said, there's some videos where the, the quality is not as good because of the noise in the background. Some of the later videos are definitely better. Slide decks are pretty good. They're easy laid out, kind of makes sense, easy flow throughout the program so far. Um, the big dings against them, as I said, were um, the support is absolutely horrific. Uh, the layout and uh, navigation of the website's horrible. Um, I think those are the two big things that really knocked down the points for me um, in my rating of them. So as I said, it's definitely worth it. Check it out. Um, Make sure you follow along for the OCE if you have not signed up and have not subscribed yet. Make sure you click that bell above and then definitely follow along uh, as we go through this process here and I work my way through the OCE. Now, also while you're here, make sure you run over to my store, Digital Offensive. Um, I have a bunch of cool swag out there right now. You can buy your Hacker Rank hoodies. Uh, these are based off the Hack the Box uh, uh, ranking system. Uh, even if you're not into Hack the Box, you can always buy a standard hacker hoodie, which is great. Uh, these hoodies are really nice and comfortable. I had it on in one of my last videos. Uh, right now, it's actually in the wash, so I don't have it right now. If you guys pass the OSCP, you can buy some of these uh, motivational uh, coffee cups. Even if you haven't, you can basically buy the opposite hand coffee cups so you can see try harder while everyone else sees the OSCP. Try to uh, motivate yourself and get yourself moving. Or um, these pretty cool hacky hack own shirts. Uh, these are from my son. He likes to sit on my lap when he was a little kid and be typing on the keyboard yelling hacky hack owned all the time. So we 
definitely a great show to own. Uh, all these products are great quality. Uh, highly recommend them. So definitely run over, check out uh, Digital Offensive over on Teespring. Uh, use the code YouTube for, I believe it's uh, a percentage off. I believe it's 10% off right now or 5% off uh, if you use the code YouTube. And uh, definitely check that out. Guys, if you like this content, these videos, make sure you subscribe. Uh, click the bell notification to be notified when new videos come out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.